Well, hello my friends. Okay, um, in this video we're going to go over four lures and techniques for when the water's really cold, like 50 degrees, uh, windy, cold outside, uh, the rough conditions were important because there was other things we could have done if it had been calm or not quite so windy. But just the way the day played out, every day is different, so that's what we went out to figure out. So in this video, keep watching throughout it. Um, we catch a lot of fish. We catch one on the tube, like we do in all the videos. I mean, there was other lures I tried today and didn't catch on, but there was no sense showing you that. I just want to have you that confidence is a big thing in the fishing. So it's kind of what this channel is about is showing you a lure actually catching fish and then you know okay when i'm using this i've seen this thing catch fish before and then you're ready to catch it's important to confidence but anyway first thing we used was a tube and with a tube tubes are just hollow in the middle all that's hollow and then you got the skirted end so you just take a normal jig head you can use a round head you can use football head, you can use any heads but that's like a tube jig head right there so you just shove it right up the center, poke the eye out, and then tie your line direct onto that. So there we have floral carbon, we just tie that on. But what we're using for a rod is a seven foot medium. It's got, it's as you can see, it's stiff all the way up and then the tip bends. I can't really show you on there. But anyway, it's a stiff backbone and a softer tip. And that's the Revo. And looks like we got a matching reel on there. Yeah, that's a Revo reel too. So that was a great setup for the tube. And then we threw a Nico rig, which on that we were using, I think we're ABW still. Yeah, we got uh, the Revo, the, this is a Mike Iconelli, the purple deal with a combo. The reel is too. This was a beautiful setup for the Nico. And it's the same thing. Let me just, there's our hook right here so let me just bend it yeah it's a little stiffer um so probably a medium heavy or it could be a medium where's the grip oh back here i don't want to let go of the hook we'll go back to that we'll go back to the rod here's what we were doing though this is the cool part we have a craw so just one with pinchers on it you know there's a million brands like that and we took and we put a wood screw screwed up into the bottom of it so uh, drywall screw doesn't matter any kind of screw or you can buy the weights like there's weights you jam up in but the screw doesn't never comes out because it's screwed in there and it's uh, a really cheap way of going I'm all about saving the money there's a number one hook and we just hooked it up at the top of the head and then come right back out again so we're right up at the top hooked like that and you can picture that thing walking across the bottom like it would just be doo -doo 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 -doo. drives them nuts that's the best way to you know show a crayfish style bait because that thing looks just like a craw and we hammered them on that too and this is what kind of a rod 7-2 medium 7-2 medium that was great for that technique uh, and then we <laughs> played with this so on this one stay on the way I say bye to you is the whole works and then I catch I threw it out for a bonus catch for you is and we catch two on this rig I was kind of excited about this rig because I've never used it before in my life but it just made sense that it would be along the same pattern so that's from DMC that's like a some kind of fluttering jig head and I just put it like a little creature. That's actually set the hook or STH baits. That's their uh, drop shot craw with the craw the fish do the pinchers off it. And look at that little held grant looking thing. I like keep them after the pinchers are off. But here's the here's the actual jig. So it's just like that thing there. They were crushing this. And what I ended up doing, what did I use this on? This is the Seth Fighters uh, fly rod their hair jig rod by Daiwa that's a nice rod and then I've got uh, I think that's a Jordan Lee uh, spinning rod 
So we got all the elites names on this rig. But yeah, so we had that set up. Catch a couple on it, so stay on there. And then I likely say bye to you again. Don't hang up on it, on it yet. We, uh, where's the hook up? Doesn't matter. I'm just going to set it down. And then we went with a grub. This is probably the deadliest cold water technique there is. And that's, uh, that's on a medium light rod. And who's real? Is that a lose? Or what is that? Quantum, I think. Um, little white grub. And the way we worked it, just watch on there. We walk it on the bottom, and big largemouth especially love that technique. That's the last one. And uh, hopefully you enjoy this. So keep watching. There's, uh, what, five fish caught and four different techniques. Okay, Mike. Oh, just one more thing before we start the video. Uh, I, I've been asked to, to talk about why were we fishing where we were. Uh, Okay, we were on, let me describe from the start, where they just were was in the back of a big bay. It went around, there's sand with boulders, there's sand and logs, there's weed and logs, there's lily pads, there's a, a big stretch of reeds comes out in the middle, some lily pads on it too, and that's all dying off. And back in that area is vacant now, and they've moved their way out. There was a big, long rock finger came out. They worked their way out that. We were on them when they were on that. Now, there's a big void to another piece of structure, which was sand and weeds and things, and that's where we intercepted them on their way out to the deep water. And they're going to, and there's probably lots got by us already, and they're, if you look at a map and you see depth lines that are tight together, that's where they're headed. They're headed to spots like that. So if we can grab this secondary structure, we're almost third, really, on the way out through, um, before the next stop is out and they'll, they'll be vacant off the area we're on now soon too just if you know it gets in the mid 40s we're we're high 40s to 50 degrees so they're moving and uh, that's where we ran into them we're cutting them off on the way out to there so anyway enjoy well hello my friends okay we're just getting set up here this is nasty late fall cold windy what are we going to do? Well, let's do this together. We'll figure this out. We'll start with something like a tube. It's a good search lure. We can use a small flip and jig, things like that, to work around. We'll find them, and then we can go from there. Whether it be fun to get a surface thing going, we'll play. But the tube's a good one to start with. Now we have dropped the talon already. Um, geez, it's cold out here. I came out. I thought it was going to be beautiful. It's nice on shore. It's freezing. Anyway, there's the Jeff McGee tube by STH Baits. So let's uh, fire this out. We'll search around, see how, and we'll go from there. Where we're at, we can get smallmouth, largemouth, doesn't matter. We're on a transition. There's a Way back in the bays there's where they've been and there's like a big rock finger coming out and that. So the water's dropping so the craws, they're working their way out. This is a secondary point area and the deep water's back here. They may be past us already but they're definitely working their way to the wintering areas. There, holy jeepers, this is chaos out here right now, it's windy. Let me see if I can get this back in the screen. What did I say in there? Yeah, wintering areas, anywhere the depth lines on your contour maps get tight together, they're heading there. But right now we want to hit secondary points and things to catch the intercept these craws and the bass heading out. We'll be using an eco rig too with a craw. It's that's fun. Yeah. 
we got a largey. So we got a large mouth, and that was hopping that along. I think I got hit other, that's why I kept turned around. I think I wasn't paying enough attention. But we're talking about that Nico rig. I can't make these videos, so we'll piece it all together. We'll come right back and we'll use a Nico rig. Okay, we got our uh, Nico rig out. So what we're gonna use, we put a wood screw in the bottom of a craw that has pinchers and stuff on it, and then hook your hook in the top, in the head. So we're gonna be walking that along bottom. That's dry, so this is a great way to present uh, crawfish type bait. Let's fire this out. We got that little large area. I have a hard time believing there's no smallmouth here, so I'm gonna fire a little more sandy area. We'll take another large mouth though, but let's see about a small mouth here. You can imagine a small mouth seeing this, it's gonna eat it. Or a large mouth. So I'm just gonna hop and crawl that along like it's a real crayfish. There we go. Another large mouth. That was fun. So we've got tubes, late, late fall like this. Let me just let this guy go. Or did you guys see him? Pretty, eh? Um, so we got tubes, we got Nico rig. Uh, an exciting bite would be a wake bait. I might be a little rough. Uh, we go with a bigger one, but let's come right back and do wake bait. Okay, we threw the wake bait we were talking about didn't work and the whole idea of this our videos here is confidence in a bait so You know, there's days the wakes work, but not it's 50 degrees. It's cold So we're not going to show that because we didn't catch so the wake bait didn't catch um, I threw a mischief minnow by freedom tackle to get on the surface with a lot of noise because I wasn't that confident in throwing the wake bait in this water the waves but the Freedom Tackle's Mischief Minnow, it's got a clack to it, so they didn't come up for that. So they want definitely down on bottom, like the cross, so we know we can throw a Nico rig and catch them, we know we can throw the tube and catch them. So along the same lines, this could be fun, I've never used this before ever, but this should fall into the same category. I don't know, that's kind of like a fluttering jig, and we put on a little creature thing. But let's throw this out and work it along slow. This falls into the same idea of what we were doing with just slow and on bottom. It's kind of like a craw, but it should flutter around. So, I don't know. I got it free. I bought one of those tackle packs where you buy $75 worth of stuff and they send you a whole bunch of things in the box. That's where this came from. So I don't know how to use it. I'm just gonna hop it up and let it flutter down. The way the conditions are, I can't see why they wouldn't need it.
now that was fun it's just little guy but tell me that's not fun i know it's a lure i've never used that before and oh look how he got that right up in the top of the roof of the mouth i was wasn't sure about the hook let's get rid of him i wasn't sure on how that would hook up but it did good i might use that a little bit before we try something else or i don't know maybe that's that's good for today we know we can't it's 50 degree water it's cold we have confidence in bottom baits craws and we'll work slow finesse type stuff like that and catch a bunch of largemouth and hopefully some small mouth um, anyway you guys enjoy i know it's cold windy and that but you make the best of that day this isn't too bad i'm catching fish so uh the only time we didn't was on horizontal moving baits so something on bottom slow enjoy the day see you guys and girls okay i'm having too much fun with this thing let's start it out together this thing is such a blast we're catching on it Hopefully get a small mouth this time. The large mouth are loving this little bug. <laughs> oh yeah, this is too much fun. What a good one too. Get out back here. Oh my. Get over here. Well, I'm glad I turned you guys on for some bonus footage. There's a beauty. <laughs> Look at that. He just loved that bug. But right, they're all right in the top of the, right in the top of the app there. Get my hand right in there. Get that out. Well, how's that for bonus footage on our little bug thing that I, I think I've had these over the years and didn't want anything to do with them. See is Okay, when it's freezing like this, there is, we've talked now about the tube, the Nico rig with the craw, the uh, little flutter bug there by VMC. They've all been working great, but we'll show them something different. We got the little white grub like that, and we're just gonna tap this on bottom and hop it. And then we'll also do a slow retrieve for crappies over the weeds and sometimes larges like that too. But chances are the tap on bottom's deadly. It'll be by far better, the best cold water deal to throw, I think. So let's fire it out. Let me show you and uh, see what we can do. We just get it down and then we're just going to tap, 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 let it fall back to bottom. Tap, 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 and they'll be on it.
Oh yeah, they always love this. Can I sling him? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> oh, I love it. Nothing better than the little white grub. So that's another one to keep in mind. That's probably one of the deadliest ways right there to get these cold, cold water bass. Anyway, we'll get the hook out of there in a second. Enjoy. Bye.